stated in Galatians 2.16 and 20, which refers to his willing sacrifice on the cross. Also, that what is given in behalf of Christ in Philippians 1.29 is, again, not the ability to believe, but the gospel which, when a sinner will hear, will make him able to believe. The reference given is Romans 10.17. Can you give me a comment on this? Uh, you have there an example of... Uh, distorting the gospel by having the cart before the horse, which means that they want it to mean that. So they make it mean that when the words are very clear, especially Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, because it says not of works. So if the faith there is faith of Christ, then does that mean also not the works of Christ? Uh, and then we have no salvation if the work of Christ is not our means of salvation. So, but it says, uh, this is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one should boast. So it's just uh, an infantile kind of argument where you want something to mean that. And so you make the words, even though they are so distorting of the construction yeah, the, those who want to make it mean that will do anything to make the words mean uh, what they do, what they are not saying. And what it says in Philippians 1, 27 is that uh, the uh, 129 is that uh, not only to suffer, but to believe. So if uh, the suffering itself is something that God gives, uh, then the believing is, again, believing uh, by the believer, by the sinner. It is the sinner, the believer who suffers. It is the believer who is able to believe by the gift of God. And we are not dependent on Ephesians 2 or Philippians 1. There are many passages that tell us of faith being given by God. I have given you those uh, references you have in number 4. Of my assertions, faith and repentance are gifts of God, and <clears throat> you have uh, other passages that tell us that Ephesians, or rather Acts thirteen forty eight, for example, tells us as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. So who believed? Uh, not that they were because they believed they all were ordained to eternal life. They believed because they were ordained to eternal life. So the believing is the result of being ordained to eternal life. And there are many other passages that uh, tell us that. Ilde, uh, ano pang ibig sabihin ng faith of Christ? Which faith of Christ? Old Galatians 2.16 and 20 uh, makes, again, it's very clear. It's our faith with Christ as the object, the object of our faith. Because again, it is contrasted with no flesh shall be justified by the works of the law. So it's not Christ believing for us. We are believing in Christ. It's genitive. It's a genit objective genitive in Greek, which means that Christ is the object of our faith. It is not subjective genitive where you make the faith that which Christ has. Uh, rather, Christ is the object of faith, not the doer of faith. Let's proceed to objections. 